Okay, my friends, if you've been around here long enough, you know that I have a, a specific interest in the more or less crazy. <laughs> well, you know, it's because everything's crazy. When you, when you find out the reality, everything's crazy. Now, so let's go back to a couple of things that were interve intersections of craziness. Now, I got this from my friend Chelsea Lake. She sends me this picture of this gigantic hand. These people are crawling through these fingers. And, I mean, it's been an internet, you know, sensation. Everybody's going crazy. It's called Giant Fingers or Toes You Decide on Mud Fossil University Channel. Now, so, I also work with a, a very, very nice lady, Marguerite O'Reilly, who is over there in uh, Belfast. And, um, hold on one second. Okay, as I said, I work with Chelsea, and I work with Marguerite, and Marguerite talked about sulfur enhancing her son's, you know, brightness, and Chelsea happened to mention that she lived in an area where there was a ton of sulfur. So, I decided, well, let me look up what sulfur is all about, and absolutely amazing. Here it comes. Okay, this is for my friend Marguerite, whose son John has autism, and he's doing much better under her extreme excellent work that she's been doing trying to to do what she can for her son i applaud her for her, her for her efforts and they seem to be paying off now what are these efforts and what are they paying off i've been working with marguerite for a while now and i always start with how is the digestive system da 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 da, da. well he yeah, had all kind of problems well we i said well first of all you got to get some probiotics going you got to make sure the urine clears up it comes just you know the light yellow looking urine get enough fluids and do this and that make sure that the probiotics are doing their job and his poop is is a is a good normal poop it's not all the it doesn't have all these kind of digestive issues and I'm telling you right this instant if you look up any single disease whatsoever from depression to Alzheimer's they have digestive issues every single one of them zero does not have a digestive issue now they think it's just a symptom of the disease the disease is a symptom of non-digestion it's not having the correct bacteria to, to protect your your invasive areas, which are your membranes, which are always under invasion because toxic chemistry is running through your body 24-7. If you don't slime it away with these bacteria, it will invade your membrane and, and get into your vital fluids, and then you've got problems. Now, secondly, they create enzymes. Enzymes are products that are little chemistry sets. It literally just like taking a little chemistry set and saying give me a couple of these atoms a couple of those atoms mix them together all right put it in the guy's body and see what happens well the bacteria knows what's going to happen it's going to harvest some salt or it's going to um invade some molecule and break it into bits so they can be used in the little bitty bits and bits and pieces of it because that's what they do they crack these things apart so we can use them you can't take one of these right here and eat that thing and have expected to do anything for it it's got to become little bitty 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 bits and that's what the bacteria does. Now, why is sulfur so important? So first of all, I'm talking about probiotics. That's your bacteria. It breaks things down. Well, how does the bacteria live? Well, the bacteria needs sulfur. I just found this out today. And sulfur is sulfur after calcium and phosphorus. These are the most important things. Is the most abundant mineral element found in our body. However, sulfur, and we're not getting now, it is available to us in our diets derived almost exclusively from proteins and yet only two of the 20 amino acids normally present in proteins contain sulfur. One of, the, one of these amino acids, methanionine, cannot be synthesized by our bodies and therefore has to be supplied by the diet. Your body just can't make it. You have to. If you don't get it in your diet, you're done. Now, what is this? Cysteine. That is in amino acids. That is big, big, big time player. Cysteine, another sulfur-containing amino acid and a large number of key metabolic, pro metabolic intermediates 
a large number of key metabolic intermediates essential for life are synthesized by us, but the process requires a steady supply of salt. What is an intermediate? What are you talking about? Metabolic intermediates. What are you saying to me about that? What does that mean? It's a metabolic intermediate. Well, an intermediate means in the middle. It's intermediate. So something starts, and then you've got an intermediate in the middle, and then you've got an end. Well, and what is meta metabolic? It means metabolism. It means burning up products. It means using products, metabolizing them. Taking the product, breaking it up, turning it into a power source for your body or to to do whatever you do with it after that. You metabolize it. You use it up as a bodily product. Now, so here we got bodily products are the metabolic things. Intermediates means the thing in between where it started and what you end up with. So, sulfur containing amino acids, a large number of these amino acids are metabolic intermediaries. But what happens in an intermediary event is you take a big chunk of anything. Let's say it was this mud fossil. And I ate that in one big bite. Well, it's not going to help me. You have to have little things come over there and start nibbling away, chewing all these little bits, and they break out the oxygen. They take up some of the iron and some of the calcium and some of the phosphorus and all this stuff out of it into little tiny bits. And by the time they're done, instead of having this big gigantic thing, they got all little tiny bits. I got around here my little tiny ball of magnets, which would which would show it, but I can't find this. But anyway, that is what you end up with, little tiny pieces. They go out and they can do chemistry. You cannot work with big pieces. So, if you don't have this, the sulfur to, for these amino acids, the amino acids can't go out and do their job. The amino acid is a little chemistry set. It goes out and an acid breaks things up. That's what it does. And they are a large number of metabolic intermediates. There's a, so many processes going on, you just couldn't even imagine. And when you take something and eat it and think all of a sudden it just falls into your body and, 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 and attaches and does all the things it's supposed to do, absolutely not. The bacteria is doing that job. Take care of your bacteria. And to do that, you have to do this you have to have sulfur. Dietary sulfur required more to support microbial growth than to support, than provide sulfur in direct support of animal needs. If you don't have the sulfur, you, your bacteria dies. If your bacteria dies, you're in trouble. Sulfur uses primarily in the form of sulfur containing amino acids, the things that do the chemistry, as constituents in a wide array of functional body protein. Dietary supplementation is to ensure adequate sulfur to support microbial protein needs. Excess sulfur may be may contribute to dietary anion load altering acid base balance. You always got to be careful you don't do too much of something. But if you don't have the sulfur, you're in trouble. So you may have the bacteria and still not get the effect. It appears that, you know, they should add some of the sulfur in with the bacteria, with the uh, probiotics in my world. But maybe they do, I don't know. Anyway, this is it's something to look into. And I just did look into it and I don't see any sulfur shown in the ingredients. There's a ton of lactobacillus. Now, there's a whole batch of different strains. That, I think, is really important, is that lactobacillus. I mean, there's so many different bacteria, and they claim there's only so many that are really important. I don't really know exactly. I don't think this test and the, the, the um, research has been done sufficiently to cover this. This is very, very important to your health. And health is not doing well. You know, antibiotics, are, <laughs> that's a disaster. You've got to repopulate your um, bio, bio organisms that are inside your gut. 
If you don't, you are unhealthy. They're in your throat, they're in your mouth, they're in your gut, they're in your, your stomach. They're everywhere. They're everywhere, in every membrane. Otherwise, that membrane is, is wide open to invasion. And I know a, a, a friend that I had worked with that was one of, he's one of, I think he's one of the top fascia guys in the world now, understands it as well as anybody, and um, was at a conference not too long ago, a year or so ago, and said that that was the topic of discussion. It was membranes are the highway of invasion. And the membrane, the only way to protect it is slime. It's just slime. And the only way the slime gets there is if the bacteria is there. The only way the bacteria is there is if you don't kill them with antibiotics. And then, apparently, you need a little sulfur for those puppies to, to grow with. They like sulfur. You know, but you obviously, again, you've got to be careful. Too much of anything is too much of something. So, God bless you all. I hope this helps. And, um, and, and thank you, Marguerite. And thank you... Uh, Everybody else and um, Chelsea and Marguerite and Tyson and Greg and Scott and all the people we've been working on. I mean, we got a ton of them. And they're starting to really come on board and pay attention to things that, you know, they just told you, listen to me, I'm going to tell you what to do. Well, let's we'll look into that a little better. Because, you know, if you, don't, if you don't look at the things for yourself, all you're being told to just somebody telling you what to do. I, don't, I never did like to get told what to do. You know, I mean, I don't mind being told what to do if it's the right thing. But if somebody's just telling me something to do because somebody told them to tell me, well, then I want to know why that first guy said to do it. That's where I go. All right? Vaios con Dios, amigos.